you know where you are? This is Nollywood Pictures too. VC. I'm okay, sir. Sir, will you be in the office tomorrow? I want us to discuss something urgently. Okay, sir. Even though I'm driving, I, uh, let me stop because it is very, very urgent. We can discuss. Okay, sir. Convicted of serial raping, uh, was accused of serial raping of three years, and the committee was set up to look into that. He was convicted. Yes, he was convicted. The whole facts against him was overwhelming and blaring. DC, I'm sure it wasn't a setup. You need to see how your son was fidgeting when he was brought before the three girls, and evidence about against him we are overwhelming. It is glaring he committed the offence. DC. Look, this is not time for self-pity. That was why I started looking for you immediately I heard about it. Um, I think I have done my own part of the deal. We have a long-standing relationship, you know that. And uh, because of that, I wanted to the case immediately. Now it is time for you to act. After all, you are the vice chancellor here. is a command. I want to see you here at home tomorrow, latest 6 a.m. Before or exactly 6 a.m. Listen, yes, that is it. small packages like mm -hmm. Patrick why must you disgrace me I mean why how do I stand in, in front of my colleagues for God's sake have you ever asked for something which I did not give you no no let's be frank if you didn't the wife that badly why did you tell me so that I could even get you a wife to marry instead of going around flaunting your, your libido one of extraneous effects, AIDS, HIV, you know, STDs and so on. Have you even thought about that? But I'm very sorry, Alex. Sorry for what? No, tell me, buddy. What are you sorry? Is it for raping guests over the campus or for the embarrassment you have caused me in the face of my, of, 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 of my colleagues? Daddy, I, I, I... Shut up and pocket your damn sorrows. Now, how do I stand before my colleagues? Those who are even you know, academically less than mortals than myself. Anyway, I have good news for you, my dear. The Senate Disciplinary Committee had decided to suspend you and your three musketeers. So, my boy, go and celebrate. Get out of there! Get out! I'm not the devil in the godly man, right? Daddy, you won't, you won't let this happen to me. I can't start. It has happened. Hey, come on! Hey! 
Give me my car key, my boy. Go and buy your own car, ride your own car. Thank you. What are you now? Huh? Don't be allowing me, man. <clears throat> What's it, son? What? Man, I just got up the phone with Toto now. He said he's on his way. There's a problem. Problem? Did he tell you what the problem is? Man, he didn't say it, but it sounded very strange. It was serious, disturbed, man. I didn't, I've not heard him sound like that before. Yeah, that's okay. It's, there's no stress. We'll hook up with him later now. Yeah, I think. Just hook up. But meanwhile, I just need to catch some sleep, man. I'm feeling still very drowsy. Me too. I still need to get back to sleep, you know. Guys, that's a problem. What's the problem with you guys? Never take anything serious. Uh, whatever. Just wake us up when we come. Off from our sleep, and secondly, you're keeping us in suspense. <clears throat> the Senate Disciplinary Committee has decided to <laughs> to rusticate us, all, my guy. What? They've decided to expel us from school because of this gift issue. Dang! They're determined to make scapegoats out of us. How? When? Are you sure of what you're saying? Who told you this? My father. He called me to a meeting this morning. Went to see him. He brought the news to me. We're marked. We're very marked. So now he is in the picture. I mean, the cat has been let out of the bag. How is he going to do? What is he going to do about it? If I know my father, he's only going to do the right thing. He's only going to do the right thing. Come on. How will I tell my dad? He nearly told me the first time. If not for my mom. You're not alone in this, man. You know. Huh? I mean, my dad will not just hear of this. Huh? What do we do now? We would have let that girl be. We just would have let her be, even for Toto, who would not take no for an answer. So what's in the worry on her now? Eh? Will you guys stop this nonsense? You, this is your second school and you're complaining. You guys know my gist now. Eh? I spent six good years in three different schools before coming in here. I mean, I think what you should be doing now is think of a way out of this mess and not self-pity. Eh? Pass me the bars, man. Come on. Cool off my head. Hey, man. Scorpido, tell them all. Tell them. <laughs> Look, guys, at this moment, we should be looking for the way forward, for the solution to this problem. Your dad is at the helm of affairs in this school. You have to go and talk to him or... Look, my father, 
he's not going to do anything to save me. You know how he is. He's a strict disciplinarian. And at this point, the world has breathing down his neck because they want to know exactly what he's going to do. And you all know what happened when the DVC son was involved in exam malpractices. Yeah, yeah. So right now, I know for a fact there's only one thing that our father will do. Support the wheels of justice to run us out of school. So, what other alternative do you have? Because for me, I can't seem to think of anything. I just cannot seem to think of anything. Moreover, it was you who started this fire that is raging and is about to consume all of us. You, Toto. Ah, I started the fire. I started the fire. But when I told you guys that we should go then and hit Mr. Samson, you all chorus like little girls. No, 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 no. No! No. But at this point, I have left all thinking to you people. Whatever it is that you say, I will follow. That's all. You know we said enough for a reason. You don't have to bring it up now. If I have any other idea, I just say it. Scopy. This one will just keep quiet since now. Well, I'm thinking. I think something is coming up. I think something is coming up right now. MT, how much time do we have left? A week. Well, more like eight days. Fair After enough. that. Become ex student. Ex. Ex. Fair enough. We we'll have enough time. Hi, Gibbs. What's up? Fine. You know my problem right now. This forthcoming church convention that is coming up in two weeks time, man, I really need to participate fully. Mm. My problem right now is I still have a whole lot of assignments and 10 people to take care of, man, I don't know. Look, oh, no. my sister, I cannot miss it for anything in the world. Even if it means for me to stay awake throughout the night and finish my academic, you know, work, I will do that because all season men of God are going to be there, so I can't miss you it. You can say that <laughs> again. So maybe we should buy a new rechargeable lantern because we can't depend on NEPA and this school generator or something. Don't you think? Mm. That's, a good idea. That's, that's a good idea. Maybe we'll pick it up uh, on our way to school. Mm. Huh? Okay. Oh, my phone. What was that day? I don't know. Where is this phone? Okay. Hello? Fine, 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 thank you, sir. Uh, I'm, on my way, I'm on my way to the class. Ah, good news. What could that be, sir? I'm, I'm, I'm still here, sir. Uh, th th that's very good, sir. Okay, sir. Bye, sir. Guess what? Toto and his friends are to be suspended. Wow! That's a good news, don't you think? Yeah! That's a good news. <laughs> it is a good news, but this whole thing is confusing. I, I, I don't know. I beg. Forget about them. It's time for the next class. Me, I don't want to go late. Go to them for part class. For Toto and his friends, they've gotten what they deserve. Exactly. I beg, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Hello. Hello, sir. This is Dikino Sumbo. Gift Osumbo's daddy. One of your students. I hope
hope I'm onto the chief security officer of the university. Dick Nosumbo, good afternoon. How is your family? We are fine. And yours? My family is okay. Thank God. I want to commend you on how you handled the issue. Gift told me this morning on the senior's position. In fact, it's your daughter that deserves all commendation. If not because of her courage and boldness, reporting this very case to the school authority, uh, we wouldn't have known how deep this very devil has sitting deep into our campus. So we're very grateful to have had such a girl with such a courage. All the same, you two played a very vital role for which I am grateful. I see, uh, Dickon, I was just doing my job of protecting innocent students. Who knows? It would have been my daughter the next day. I don't know. So I think I'm doing that job of protecting all of them. Well, I hope this marks the end of courtism and other vices in our campuses. We are trying our best to see what we can do. If need be, you know, reduce it to the barest minimum if we cannot eradicate it completely. That is good to hear. And to tell you the truth, it is a worthy cause. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you, Dickie, and goodbye. Bye. And good evening for madam. What is it? Walai oga one man there and for my gate is send them for me. I tell them for you. Walai see I'm for you urgent, urgent. Have I not told you not allow any visitor in when it is 10 p.m.? Why not send him away instead of bringing him to me? Walai oga, I tell them I know agree. I tell them I know agree. I send them for me. I tell them for you. Walai he name a day ye me. Walai he na matter for life and death. Professor Deyemi? Yes, Walai Oga. A matter of life and death? Yes, Walai. Let him in immediately. To Madala Oga. What can, what can this matter of life and death be? Oni, are you sure that that gate man is giving you the right information? I'm not sure. Don't you know how close you put boats? Huh? Of course, we are very close. I feel if, if there was any problem, you could have let me know. Please, you could have called. Still wait for him to know why he is coming at this time of the day. My dear, don't worry. We'll soon find out. As for me, I'm very tired. I know you are really tired. I had a hectic day. Right. Please, let me go to bed. You're wise. Oh, you, you, you want to set us out of this school? What are you saying? <laughs> Prof, Toto owns this school. I mean, we, we own this campus. Toto sent you. <laughs> Finally, we meet, Prof. Prof, we meet, Prof. <laughs> it's just that this time, you are the accused. <laughs> what I say? And we here, we are the, the judge. judge. I've come here <laughs> to judge yeah. you. <laughs> what about him? No, 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 he goes down too. Let's go, bro! Come on, man, go, 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 go. Breaking news. A university donned by name Professor Chukudi Anyam 
was yesterday night assassinated come on, come on, come on. in his house volume. by yet to be identified gunmen. The police are Jesus. investigating the matter. More information Wonderful. will be brought to you what at the top of the hour. Professor Anyam assassinated for God's sake. So, something is wrong, something is wrong. What a nice man! These men are from the state security service. They say they want to see you. Can I help you? What exactly happened? Can you tell us as much as you can remember? On that fateful day, I was with my husband in the city. Okay. Before the gate man came in and said, Professor, I think you want to see my husband. Because we have the policy, we don't allow any visitor to come in by 10 o'clock. Okay. It's just because of my husband, so close, they were a good friend, they were so close. Now send it to the man to bring him. I didn't wait and then I climbed upstairs. Reaching upstairs, I was praying. I had no voice. I had no noise. I had no noise. I decided to come down, to come and check. To come. What happened? No noise and nothing. And reaching there, I saw my husband and the kids' man <laughs> lying down. <laughs> then I now scream. <laughs> It was only my brother-in-law came out <laughs> and saw them. That is what I can remember. So, young man, what did you see? On that fateful night, I was with the gate man when someone came knocking and he was Professor Adeye. So, when the gate man went in to confirm from my uncle if he should allow them coming, I went back to the boys' quarters. But what brought me back to the gate man's post was that I forgot my cell phone. So as I went back to pick my cell phone, I saw four hefty men, four hefty men, walking into our living room. I thought it was the gate man and, 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 and the men looking for my uncle. So I didn't bother myself. <laughs> what attracted me to the main building was when my auntie screamed. She screamed. And I rushed in only to see my uncle and the gate man. All dead. <laughs> Young man, can you identify any of those guys if you set your eyes on them? The whole place that night was very dark. I didn't see anybody's face. What if I can lay my hands on all any of these men that, that, that ended my education? If I, if I can. <laughs> so, madam, accept our sympathy. I assure you we will do all within our power to unravel the real perpetrators of this crime. It's a promise. Thank you. Yeah. Please it's just try. Just you try will. your best. You will. Please try your best. It's a promise. You will. Just take out, okay? We, we have to be on our way now because we have a meeting with the school board. Okay? So we have to run along now. Thank so you. have a nice day. We'll keep you on our feet. Thank you very much. I call this meeting as the vice chairman of the disciplinary committee and I want to know the next line of action. Uh, okay, uh, thank you gentlemen. With what is happening now, I strongly suggest that out of respect for our colleague Professor Niam, that we fight this case of civil rape to its logical conclusion. I'm of the opinion that uh, Professor Niam paid the ultimate price, the supreme price, in his bid to sanitize uh, this uh, great institution. He has a passion for that. Anyway, 
I'm of the opinion that we go by the recommendations of the sanctions that were, uh, as, as, as we uh, concluded in the last meeting. Professor Day, if I understood what you mean, you were insinuating that Professor Tonyerson was responsible for the death of Professor Lee. How else will you interpret it, uh, Professor uh, Mosso? How else will you interpret it? I don't buy the same view with you. We may be looking into his case right now, but the matter must have or could have been committed by any of the bad boys who have to take their case. Or it could be a matter of armed robbery attack or assassin. In fact, it could be anybody. So why not we wait until the police finish their investigation before we can say who it is? I think Professor Wosu is right. It is part of the hazard associated with the disciplinary committee, if you ask me. I also want to bring to you notice the fact that Professor Otoyen has specifically told me that he is willing to go ahead with the decision to expel his son if we so decide. Well, it's unfortunate what happened uh, to Professor it could as well happen to any one of us here. And it is unfortunate equally that he's the one involved. Well, gentlemen, I have listened with great interest to your arguments and opinions. And in as much as we all want justice to be done in this matter now, as in previous matters, let us not forget that we lost one of our esteemed colleagues, Professor Anyam, in this course. Gentlemen, it is my opinion that we soft better on this boy's issue for now. He's already in his final year. Let him get out of this trouble. The school has suffered enough crisis. We have had enough scandal. Let us spare our esteemed institution some dignity if there's any left. Um, it's a question of a semester. And the boy in question with his friends will all graduate and find their way out. Let us take it as one of those sacrifices we have to make. And if the police finds anybody guilty, gentlemen, let the person face the music. That is my humble submission. Well, I think I will go with Professor Ike's submission. Except if anybody thinks otherwise. No, 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 no. Prof. No, not for some other way, guys. Well, in that case, my colleagues, I suggest that we suspend the recommendation and allow the sleeping dog and let the sleeping dog lie. Okay. And secondly, I would like to suggest to every one of you to watch your personal security. Please, watch your backs. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Not to worry, it's about 8 a.m. Today is Saturday, so I allowed you to have a full dose of rest because I know you need it. You know, I forgot. Maybe I still need to go back to bed because... But then I have to brush and shower. I still that. feel very feverish and weak. Oh, I don't think it's anything serious. Maybe the school stress is getting at me. 
Remember, I had my own share of it last week. Hmm? It's nothing. So. Before now, it was more Now, it's growing up. I don't know what is happening to me. I don't know. You don't need to worry. It's nothing serious. Maybe the school stress is getting at you. Remember, I had my own share of it last week. I hope so. Look, it's giving me concern. To clear your doubts then, I suggest you see a doctor. Okay? Yeah. I'll do that later today. That would be nice. Okay. Right. You know what, Gift? What? Me, I want travel, but I never know when I want travel. Traveling? Why do you want to travel? I hope all is well. Perfectly well. I'm not going to enjoy the long break with my parents now. Nothing more. Long break? Yes. Which long break are you talking about here? <laughs> See this girl. You should say you did this school. So you know when we have public holiday, Monday, Tuesday, four straight long days. Lecture free, of course. Oh, oh my see this girl. God. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, no. In that case, let me just quickly really have my bath. Mm -hmm. Because this opportunity cannot be pushed. And how do you mean? <laughs> Look, four days, four straight days, it will be fun, okay, with my mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, I can't remember the last time I've had quality times with her. If you like, sit down there and start considering it. As for me, I'm out of here. If care is not taken, I'll leave you here. You leave here before me. When you're still wearing nightgown. My bus are packed. Okay, right? now let's see. And let's see who leaves first. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> So, thank you. Thank you. Guys. It all brings you to my office this time. I hope there's no problem. No problem, Dr. Frank. It's just gifts. How are you gifts? I'm fine. When did you come back from school? I came in this morning. Just this morning? Oh, that's good. So, gift, what is it this time? Doctor, I don't know. I feel very feverish, very weak. And I draw each time I blush. Did they start together? No. Um, the fever and the weakness started first. So when exactly did it start? Mm. About a week ago. A week ago? Oh God. So when do you feel this fever more? In the morning, in the afternoon, and the night? Doctor, it's usually in the morning. Is it right? Um, is there any other thing you're not telling me? That's all. So, no headache, no dizziness, no abdominal discomfort or pain of any kind? Headache, yes. But any other thing? I don't think so. Well, in that case, I, I think you have malaria, okay? But I will still run some tests to confirm that, okay? Have you taken any other drugs since then? Yes. Just for someone. Well, fair enough. But gift, I, I strongly advise that safe medication is not appropriate. Okay. Um, when was the last time you saw your menstrual period? I can't remember, Doctor. I can't. Why? Doctor, I'm a virgin. I'm a virgin. So I don't really need, I don't need to bother myself about it. Look, Doctor, my message is not regular. But since that incident. Yes. And after the incident, I've not really had any contact with anyone. So I don't just think. I don't just think uh, I should be worried about it. It comes whenever it deals. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good news to hear, but I still advise all my patients and female alike to always keep their date. So, can you think back? Doctor, I can't, I, I can't remember anything, but from now onwards, I'll keep record. 
Sure. Okay, um, let me challenge your brains a little. Do you see this man? No. Last month? I don't think so, Doctor. I must have seen him. I must have seen you. Yeah. Okay, it's alright, it's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Let me test. Okay. Okay. Let's go out. Um, yes, Dr. Fry. I think that will be enough for now. Okay. You can wait outside if you have all the time. But if you don't have the time, you can go. I will take her home myself. Okay, it's all right, Doctor. It's all right. Doc. Yes. I hope everything will be okay. This one is insisting on her period. No, 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 no. Just routine question. Remember that time she was abused? I did tell you that I will run her HIV screen after three months just to make sure that she's free. Hopefully, I think she'll come back fine. I hope so. I don't want anything giving a scar of that ugly incident on my daughter. No, 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 no. I hope so. No problem. Okay. Right. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Frank. I think we have to wait. It's okay. She needs all the support she can get from us at this moment. It's all right. All right. I just wanted to fulfill all righteousness, you know. I know that any time you come to see me, it's either because of one problem or the other. So, what is the latest now? Oh, Daddy, I just spoke with my account officer a couple of days ago and he mentioned that uh, the allowance he gave to me is short by 20,000. So I came to ask you why. I'm aware of that. So, why Daddy? Uh, why did you cut it? Because I was just going, going to come to ask you for an increment. Things are really difficult now. But that's it, my boy. You have just answered the question. That is the reason for the cut. Things being difficult, that's it. I, I don't understand though. You have to learn how to sew your coat according to your cloth. You know, this, there are simple ways of organizing oneself. Number one, you should reduce the number of bottles of beer you take a day. Number of six of cigarettes you smoke a day. Then stop being a father Christmas to all those good for nothing sentimental knights who call themselves your friends. Four, reduce your movement so you can conserve fuel. In fact, pack the car. For your information, I have instructed the mechanic to take money from you whenever that car has any problem. I can't continue maintaining your car for you, my boy. No, sir. No, Daddy, this is not fair at all. I mean, why did you consider cutting down on some things yourself so you can meet me halfway? I don't know. This, it won't work, Daddy. I, I, no, no. This won't work at all. I should be very grateful to God, my boy. If not for the assassination of Professor Hanyam, that diverted the attention of the Senate from your case, you you have been in jail by now or thrown out of school. My boy, I mean, are you not ashamed of yourself? Your younger boys, your, your younger siblings are all out of school and they are working and sending money to me. You keep on asking for money and be ashamed of us. Oh my God. I'm not ashamed of myself. I am not ashamed of myself. That if you had sent me to the UK like the rest of my siblings, I, I wouldn't be in this rock right now. You cost everything and you know it. Daddy, look, I'm, I'm going to come back here and we're going to talk about this. We're going to discuss in total because uh, th this won't work. Hey, drop my drink, my boy. So what can I do for you now? Well, actually, since my husband died, 
I've been having this constant headache. That's why I call for a proper check -up. Have you been taking your anti-hepatitis drugs regularly yes. and having rest? Yes, doctor, I have. All the same, you don't have to worry, okay? And your, um, your BP is not high, it's just normal. All I have to do is just have some rest, okay? And continue to take the drugs that I give to you, okay? But that's what I'm doing. Just um, take this to the pharmacy. Okay? Okay. I will still come over and see you. Thank you very much. has malaria quite all right, but I'm afraid it's positive. Just, just positive. I'm afraid to give to your pregnant. <laughs> what? Pregnant? Mm. Doctor, doctor you, you're joking, right? Cannot be telling just lies. The result is out. Even if we conduct 20 tests, there is no way it will say something otherwise. <laughs> mommy, mommy, don't tell me. Mommy, how can I be mostly pregnant? I'm a virgin. No man has ever felt the softness of my skin. Mommy, don't tell me everything is okay. It's not okay. Mommy, it's not. Do you remember the rape incident? Please oh. calm down. Mommy, yes, I remember. But the doctor Frank said nothing is wrong with me that I was okay. So how come he's not saying that I'm pregnant? Mommy, I don't get <laughs> Mommy, I'm going to say oh, boy. Mom, 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 She has been crying all day. Now she wants to starve herself to death. No, my daughter will do no such thing. My daughter, I know you'll be feeling as if the world has come to an end. I know you'll be feeling betrayed by the God whom you have served all this year by keeping your body pure and serving Him diligently. I just want to remind you of one thing God never fails. Whatever that is happening to you, I believe it's happening for a purpose. This trial, though heavy, is for a purpose. You remember Daniel, don't you? A just man that prayed regularly. An unblemished man in the sight of men and God. But still, God allowed him to go.
go through the lion's den. But thank God it didn't end there. My princess, wipe away your tears, okay? I believe God is preparing you for something great. He didn't disappoint the apostles of old. And those that started this race before us, he will not disappoint us certainly. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. You know, he told Abraham to tell Pharaoh that he is I am. Not I was. Not I will. Come on, my dear. Eat your food, okay? God is alive and still in the business of doing good. His words are forever sure. Eat, my dear, okay? Today. Beautiful. I looked for you yesterday after lectures, but before I knew it, you were gone. Man, I was hungry, so I went home. I hope it's just the hunger alone and nothing more. Ah, uh, nothing. Just. All right. Actually, I am not given to prying into people's matters, but it's about your friend gift. Today is the third consecutive day she's been away from class, and it's quite unlike her. What's the problem? You're very correct. But I've been worried sick about her. Is she sick or something? What's the problem? Oh, last week she was not feeling too good. So she traveled to see her parents. But it was nothing too serious, just slightly. If it's nothing too serious, why, then why is she not back yet? It's because I cannot decide. Have you tried calling her? Yeah, but her number is not reachable. What of that of her parents? Oh, her daddy's number, no. That of her mother's, yes, but I lost my phone, just retrieved my line, and you know what that means. This is very serious. Are you sure she even got home safely? Ah, she did. Even when she got home that day, she called me. When she went to the hospital, she also called me, so and I know she got home safely. Do you know her house? Mm, yes, I do. I think it's good you go and check her up. You know her first semester exam is right by the corner, and the uh, revisions will soon start. She really needs to be around. Thanks for this suggestion. You know, it has never occurred to me to go check her up. Not until now. It's better I get going. We don't have any other lectures yeah, well, I think it's better that Thank way. you all the same. All right. You take care of yourself. Oh, sure. All you. right. Your daddy will not find it funny with you. But disobey him. You know he'll soon be back. Mommy, I have told you that I'm not going back to that school. Let me be, please. Why? Are you going to abandon your education because of this? In my days, people went to school with pregnancy. Mommy, those are married women, not single ladies. I know. But are you going to leave school because of this? What is it this time? Don't I deserve a welcome from my wife and daughter? That is what the problem is. She says she's not going back to school. Gift, I thought we agreed that you should go back to school. Why don't you want to go back to school? Daddy, I can't go back to school in my condition. The shame, the mockery, I can't. Somebody's at the door. Come in, please. Yes. My daughter, you're welcome. Ah, gift. Are you all right? You've been staying away from school. Your number has not been available. Everything sent me panicking. What is it? I'm okay. It's just that I'm, I'm not feeling too good. Are you still feeling ill? But you saw a doctor. That is what we are discussing now, my daughter. For the past three days, we have been on gift to go back to school, but she has refused. Ah, gift of all people refusing to go back to school? What is it? My dear, I think you help us talk to her. I think we better allow two of you to have a shot. Honey, let's go inside, please. So, tell me, why don't you want to come back to school? 
favor. You don't understand. And school is the least of my problem right now. <laughs> what do you mean school has to wait? The gift I know doesn't joke at her academics and she doesn't miss lectures, so what is wrong with you? Fever, you won't understand. What is it you think I will not understand? We've come a long way, remember, confided in each other, so whatever it is, just say it. Fever, I'm pregnant. You don't joke with things like this, you know. It's this a joke or something. I am not smiling. I am pregnant. I'm serious. So, how come? Toto. What about Toto? I thought we had put this ugly incident behind us for good. It's okay. It's my cross. I have to carry it. But it's heavy for me. I don't even know why God should allow this whole thing to happen to me in the first place. It's so heavy for me. I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. So, so sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Now you understand why I don't want to go back to school. Look, I can't bear the shame, the mockery. I, ca I can't stand that. I can't. Gift, I understand how you feel, but something can still be done. What is your point? Yeah, the exam for the first semester is coming up in two weeks' time. And I also heard that the second semester will start immediately. Because the internal ASU is trying to rush everything to avoid the impending national ASU strike. So you come back to school and finish the first session. I don't really get what you're saying. No, I can't. I can't understand you. I know you can do it. With a little determination which you are well endowed with, you can do it. Favor, you know it's not going to be easy. What if I fall sick? I never said it's going to be easy. But you can do it. No, I can't. I, I can't. I can't. You remember my brother? Which one of them? The engineer, of course. He had his admission deferred for one year and when he went back to school, he finished from where he stopped. So? Look, Fever, what is the point of finishing one semester and deferring the other ones? I, this whole thing doesn't really make sense to me. I, I don't know, I'm confused. You are not going to drop out of school. You see, you finish the first session first. Have your admission deferred till when you are ready to come back to school. By so doing, your admission will remain intact, you will not write jump again, and you will come back to school to start from where you stopped, which is second year.
Doctor. Please wake up. We need to talk. I know you really need this sleep, but we must talk. My dear, I've been thinking. And I think I've come up with a plan that will make all this go away. Your shaking academics, the shame this pregnancy has brought to this family, everything, everything. Mommy, I don't understand you. I think we can secretly procure an abortion. 